everyone, welcome back to RT2. In today's video, we're doing a just an unboxing and setup of this new office chair my mom bought me as a little surprise. So, um, I've actually already got the box torn up. So, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, I was actually supposed to get my truck seats in today if you guys watch my main channel. Um, but it looks like the day it's got flip flopped. I wasn't expecting this till Monday. And my truck seats are supposed to get here today if they flip flopped apparently, because now this show today, my truck seats aren't gonna get here till Monday. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this box opened up. I haven't looked inside yet, and this is the most I've done is kind of move all these flaps. So, got this big cardboard piece here. Just kind of toss that out of the way. So, we've got the bottom piece here. Uh, this is an S racer seat, so not any sort of like high end like DX racer seat or anything. Don't know how this will sit. Uh, I think it's gonna sit like this because the mounting points for the, for the roller thing, the like, oh, wheels on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that off to the side. Next up, we have what looks like one of the arm cushions. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do some like individual unboxings as well. Like, you'll, well, you guys will actually see more of this whenever I'm assembling it here in a moment. Um, we'll go in my office and assemble this. Um, so yeah, we've got one armrest. I'm just trying to get everything out of the box too, so it'll be a little bit easier to carry everything into the office. So we've got this little like push, like little pillow that mounts on the top of the seat. I don't know if I may be using this a lot. Um, I may just go with the flat like race seat look and ditch this. But it's also be nice to like rest my head on and all that. So I may leave it on, but we'll see. I'll probably assemble it without it and then put it on later. So then we got a piece of styrofoam and there's the seat back. It's sad that my first experience in a racing seat is gonna be from a desktop chair instead of my actual racing seats in my car, but. Yeah, a piece of uh, styrofoam, maybe? I don't know what this is. It's not like styrofoam styrofoam, but it's some sort of foam kind of stuff, but <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. Let's put it behind me. This is how we do things. I make a mess while I'm filming these videos. So we got the seat back itself, which is really nice. And I had a lot of choices in color, but I wanted the black and white. Um, Originally, I was going to buy black and white seats for my truck, so this would have matched, but I went up buying a uh, black carbon seats for those. So, um, this looks really good, though. It's got the harness pass throughs and all that stuff, like you on a real bucket seat. I may, for fun, like buy some harnesses and like zip tie them to the back of the seat. I don't know, maybe just for kicks and gigs. Um, but the actual seat itself looks fantastic. Um, it's got the S Racer embroidery on the top. Um, this is more of a bride style seat than what I'm getting for my truck. My, my truck seats are gonna be like Recaro style, but these are for, um, obviously my office. There's more of a bride style seat. A lot of my car guys know what bride seats are, but very similar style. And uh, um, the quality looks great. I mean, there's you no know, like odd seams or anything like that. Um, doesn't really look cheap or anything. So um, yeah, it's got the harness pass through, like I'm saying, you guys probably can't really see too much of them, but I'm kind of trying to put my hands in one of the harness pass throughs. So, we got that, and I think there's only a couple things left in here, so we got the other armrest. So there's the other armrest. We've got another one of those pillows kind of deals. I think this one's for the middle of the seat, because I'm pretty sure in the pictures there's a middle little cushion as well, pillow thing. Uh, let me come to the seat bottom, which is, you know, much like the... Uh, the top of the seat, very nice. The bolstering is pretty good. Um, the padding on the bottom is very thick, um, very aggressive, which is fine for an office chair because this beats the metal folding chair I've been using for years now, and it's been hurting my back, and that's why I don't really play a lot of PC games anymore. It's because I can't get comfortable. I hurt my back anytime I play games in there, so. Yeah, there's also some, no, there's not a good word, but it's just like trim, so. Yeah, that's the bottom of the seat. It's a lot heavier than the top. And I feel like it's because it's got all the mounting points for like the, uh, like the bottom part of the actual seat. And then finally, we've got another piece of this like foam sheet kind of junk. I don't know about behind me as well. And we got a couple of boxes in the bottom. There's going to be like the mounting hardware and all of that. I'm really hoping to find an instruction manual somewhere in here so I can know how to assemble this. So we'll start off with the small box in here. Try not, I don't have anything to cut them with. I don't think I have any scissors in here and 
my car, my house isn't nearby. So, because it's on the actual key ring of my truck, which I don't remember where I put my keys last night. But in here somewhere. So, yeah, we got what looks like some hardware. So like miscellaneous little hardware and stuff. There's like a sleeve and uh, these things. I don't know what these are. So just put those back in the box and still uh, need them. I haven't seen signs of an instruction manual yet, which is a bit concerning. So now we've got the bigger box, which is a little bit heavier. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of those. So don't mind if I do. Just gonna grab right here. Yeah, we got a lot of like the pieces to mount the seat up in here. A lot of the, it looks like a lot of the hardware. I'm actually supposed to be working on my C8 video right now for my main channel, but um, I thought it would be good of me to go ahead and do this because I need to screen record the, re the reveal so I can sync everything up from uh, that video. And I don't want to be doing it in my metal chair, especially with this here. I don't want it to be here and not be using it. So, all right, now we're in. So we have like a little warning card. We've got all of our hardware, which comes equipped with blue Loctite, which is great. We've got a hex screw, some uh, M5 by eight millimeter. These look like tiny, the little baby screws. There's also a bit of blue Loctite on. We've got the covers. We've got MA by 25 millimeter. Um, Allen bolts. We've got an Allen key to go with them. So we got that, which is a great thing. I was really concerned if it was going to include hardware or not. Um, so now also here we have the wheels for the, for the seat. It was really cool because they're actually styled with their car wheels. These look like these stock wheels off of a uh, Mark IV Supra. Uh, for my non-car guys, a 1994 to 1997 Toyota Supra. Same kind of stock wheels you would find on that pretty cool little style i'll actually really dig that detail there um, we have whatever this is some sort of like um i believe this is like the actual bracket um to mount the seat to the top to the bottom um maybe i don't know uh still no instruction manuals just yet which is concerning so then we also have this thing it's another bracket of sorts uh, i don't know so this is the um, like a lift adjustment, like the height adjustment. Um, and then finally, at the bottom here, we've got another bracket, which I don't know what this is for, but it like kind of scissors out. So yeah, that's all of our hardware. Um, not a single bit of instructions in here. I've never built a seat, so I don't know how to do it. Um, we got this last of the box, so I'm losing hope on, on an instruction manual, which is annoying because a lot of you guys who watch my main channel know how much I hate when stuff ships without instruction manuals. <coughs> um, <coughs> it's annoying to me. Yeah, oh wait, it's actually in the C button. Okay, so it does have instructions. Okay, so I'm pretty glad. On that, <coughs> I'm choking on my own spit. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Sorry, anyway. I'm gonna knock this box out, which I don't know how I'm gonna get that, because this is like taped funny, where it's like incredibly difficult to get my hands in there to actually rip this open. <coughs> Man. So yeah, usually my main channel videos go up like 30 minutes ago when we're filming this. I also got, what the heck? It's greased, some sort of a uh, shock. Interesting. There's a shock absorber in this thing. Okay, well, that's all of our boxes. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, move everything into the office. I'm gonna take all the parts individually in there because I didn't wanna bring this big box in there and clutter it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my office out from the metal chair and uh, bring this tripod in there and we can assemble the seat.
guys. So it's been about a week since I put together the S Racer seat for my office. And um, I have to say, it's by far the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in for, for any sort of long-term gaming. I can actually sit at my Logitech G920 wheel setup here and play Beam and G Drive or Forza for hours on end without being uncomfortable. So, you know, I'm so happy with this chair. It's been by far one of the nicest things in my office. And uh, I'm so thankful my mom for just surprising me with it because pretty much what happened is my mom um, was helping my brother and sister do some updating because this is actually one of their TVs. Um, they've had these TVs for, I think close to like six or seven, maybe eight years. Um, and my mom got a huge paycheck and decided that she wanted to surprise us all with something. So she bought my brother and sister a brand new TVs um, from Prime Day. And uh, pretty much she felt bad because I didn't get anything. And I wasn't even too upset about it. I was like, yeah, they needed TVs. Their TVs were outdated. Um, so my mom texted me when I was like, I ordered this chair for you. And I was like, no way. Cause I'd been sitting in a metal, as you, you guys have seen in the videos, I've sat in a metal folding chair for the last couple of years um, to play video games on my on my on my uh, G, my uh, GL 553 VE. So it's been miserable to sit in for long long periods of time to play games. Um, now I can actually play comfortably. Um, I can not only use this chair for playing uh, Forza and stuff like that with the wheel. Because I will say I do have to like lean up a lot to play a Forza because of just how far I've got the seat back and the recline. My arms are fully extended to touch the wheel here. Um, but for games like GTA, once I get a longer cable for my uh, Xbox controller, unless I start using my um, my G Rose adapter because it is compatible with PC, um, which I, I could easily do, uh, I could easily play um, GTA on like a GameCube controller or a uh, Xbox or a uh, 64 controller even, um, and it would work out fine. Um, so I mean, it, the wire travel always been my problem though. But I can actually play games comfortably now from my office, which is just fantastic, and work comfortably in here. Because I used to do schoolwork in here and in the metal chair, it would be so uncomfortable to do homework and have to get up and like take a break because I would just my back would hurt from how uncomfortable the chair is. And you know, like I said, this chair is just amazing. And it does get hot in here, so I do have like issues with how hot the seat gets because it is leather. Um, so it does cause problems on that end and just how hot it gets but besides that really there's not really any problems i can think of with this chair it's just fantastic so huge thanks to my mom for for you know just surprising me out of the blue with this even though she doesn't really i don't think really think she knows much of that rt2 even exists so you know she does she's known with the main channel she actually made this shirt um a lot of you guys probably see me wearing this shirt on the main channel um it's got my uh, like a like a kind of like half logo for the channel uh, and it has roasting tires since 2014 because a lot of you guys know the main channel roast tires um, which is how RT2 came to be roast tires too um, it's got like my Instagram my YouTube and Twitter on the back of the shirt which is awesome I just know my mom really is supportive of this whole YouTube thing and she wants me to have just this amazing YouTube career which is just awesome uh, I love having a mom that's so supportive like that so huge thanks to my mom for just everything being supportive to the channel and uh, you know just buying me little things here and there uh, I mean there's like the TV was another one they bought for me out of the blue because I'd had a, a CRT I love you guys remember I had a I was in 2018 using a CRT TV um and uh when I had my Xbox in here I had to use the, my 2009 monitor as a um as a um tv for a little while because um I did, we trashed the crt and it was in between the time of the crt and uh, my current samsung tv so i had this as my tv for a little while i'm using um what was it the, the tv function on the xbox one to actually watch cable television so it was nice um it was nice you know just an amazing gift my mom gave me with this chair so who thanks my mom um, if you haven't already, if you like car vlogs and stuff like that, be sure to go check out my main channel, Rose Tires. Um, I'm currently, I've got so many cool projects with a car coming soon, or my truck, I should say, coming soon. Um, I've already got one of them, as you guys have seen on the main channel right there. Uh, I actually have effectively three racing seats sitting in my room right now. I've got this seat and my two uh, seats for my truck out there. So um, I'll be installing those eventually, like I said, in the main channel. I know a lot of you guys don't really care much about the car stuff. You'll care more about the tech stuff. But um, I guess on the tech side, um, I do plan on getting a new laptop for school soon. And, and I say lo new loosely because it's going to be older than the Mac Pro I have. Um, I'm thinking about picking up a 2009 white MacBook. They're very, very inexpensive right now. And Dostude 1 has a patcher that I can use. Or it's either Tony Mac or Dostude 1. I think it should Dostude run. Dostude 1. And uh, I can put it on Mojave or Catalina when that releases. 
And um, I might do the same thing with the with the uh, five comma one out there. If um, if uh, Catalina is natively supported with an upgraded graphics card, because I'm probably I do plan on putting an RX five eighty in that eventually. I actually, you know, my parents wanted me to do a birthday list, and uh, so I did. I put a five eighty on it. So um, if I get a five eighty uh, and it's not supported by Catalina, I will obviously use a patcher to get it to Catalina. Um, but I'm not like too worried about that, but I will need for sure to get the white MacBook updated. And the reason I want that is because my ROG, while it's great for gaming, it is terrible for schoolwork. Um, and I plan on doing a review on it in the future. Um, I'll talk more about how, um, it just isn't that great for, um, for schoolwork because it's just got such a bad battery life. Um, usually when I was going to my last school, uh, I had two classes on the same campus, and I'd make it through the first class totally fine. Second class, I'd be about halfway through, I'd be in the middle taking notes, and I would die. And um, I was never sat close to any outlets or anything like that, and I didn't have enough time in between classes to plug it in usually. So I just had to um, hope that I could actually, um, you know, it would make it through class. And I spent more time reading PowerPoints on my phone than it actually taking notes. But that's for its own video, so... Thank all of you guys so much for tuning in. I do have some videos for this channel I haven't edited yet that I will be editing. Uh, I did a video as an update on the GBA case swap that a lot of you guys watched. And um, I think uh, I've got a video on uh, Mario Mario Brothers U, which I may upload. I may not because it's so outdated now. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone.